Good morning, Eric Lloyd West. Today we're talking about news, but who cares about that news? So, today we will be talking about the Indian Removal Act, folks. Hmm, isn't it ironic that we're talking about this when our school's named after an Indian tribe? Anyway, the shady government is kicking the native tribes out of the south and southeast because of the new settlers that need space for the future growth of the USA. You heard it right from President Jackson, who had fought the great Cherokee Nation back in 1788, recently just signed a law stating that Jackson gave the federal government the right to have all Native Americans migrate west of the Mississippi River in exchange for the, the Indian land. Jackson t intends on taking the Native American land from them. Is this an act of revenge? The Cherokees intend and stand, but the land in Georgia and are determined to fight for it. Having recently hired William Wirt to take their case to the Supreme Court to fight for their right to stay in their land. They are not determined to go down without a fight. Mr. Wirt in his suit, suit for an injunction to permit the Native Americans to stay on their land without having any worry about the government trying to take their land. Chief Justice John Marshall rejected William Wirt's claim that the Cherokees are a severe nation and a subject to state law. Cherokees decide Georgia lacks the authority to remove them from their lands and beliefs the court would protect them so they decide to stay there. However, in the end, they were forced to migrate also. The Cherokee journey migrated west, was also known as the Trail of Tears. About 4,000 Indians died on the journey from diseases, starvation, and cold weathers. Wow, what a sad, tragic event. Poor Indians. They tried hard to stay on their land, but all who resisted were forced either way or imprisoned. The Seminoles also refused to live and caused what was known as the Seminole War, where they had lost and about 3,000 Indians were killed. Thank you for joining another news of Iroquois West. Good night.